in your conversations with Hugh Freeze, uh, both on the microphone and off, um, how important was it was it for him to change the way that wide receiver room looked after year one? Oh, I mean, it's 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 huge. I mean, I remember him talking last year about the receiver position, especially in the SEC. I mean, the margin to get open to really create separation against SEC corners is hard. Even the great ones, like it, you know, it, it, it there's just not a lot. It takes something really special to really <clears throat> create enough separation um, and to be able to make plays and the quarterback deliver the football and complete passes downfield and that kind of stuff. And so um, I think reshaping that room was was everything. Cam Coleman's a big part of that. Robert Lewis from Georgia State's a guy that can get open. Perry Thompson, who's not there yet, will arrive in the summer, is a big physical uh, target. Of course, Rivaldo is. He comes back. So I think just just to get some people in there that, one, either have the speed and agility to get open in the middle of the field, but to have a big, long receiver where I don't even – I have to get some separation, but the pass doesn't have to be perfect. It can be a little high. It can be a little to the outside. Um, but somebody like Cam Coleman or Perry Thompson can make a tough catch in traffic is everything in the SEC. Man, it's huge, um, especially if you're not going to have – you know, if you don't have a top-10 quarterback – or an offensive line that's the best offensive line in the country, like you got to create advantages and having those big receivers is is just massive in the SEC. And hopefully that's what Cam Coleman is. So it doesn't have to be a pinpoint perfect pass every time. That's a guy that, oh, a pass is a little off, but but Cam makes it look good, or Perry Thompson makes it look good, or Rivaldo Fairweather, or somebody that can really create separation. You know, we had our friend uh, Aaron Suttles on last summer, and he was talking about Alabama kind of a preview, and he said, although he's never played in a college game, he said Caleb Downs might be the best player on this roster. Could you maybe make that argument with Cam Coleman? Um, yeah, I actually thought about that yesterday. Uh, I was sort of listing out maybe the top 20, 25 players on the roster, and I was like, where do you put Cam? I, I don't know that I could put him up there yet. Um, but, he, I mean, after a game or two, that could change. Like, we could go, okay, this dude's everything he, he showed in high school. It's translating over, and he's an absolute impact player. I'm sort of one of those until I see it. I'm, I'm not going to say he's the best player. I still think somebody like Jalen McLeod, um, who's really good, Connor Liu, could be fantastic. Um, he could be one of the best players. So I think Coleman's up there, though. I mean, I think he's he's going to – I think by the middle of the season, you could look at it and go, is he the absolute best player? Maybe, maybe not. Is he one of the most important players? Yeah, just because of the position and, and what he's going to bring to that receiver position. But, man, he's – a He's a different dude. I mean, we saw him out there on Tuesday. We got a viewing session. It's just he's one of those guys you walk out there and you look at and you go, all right, he's different. I mean, I don't even need to see a lot. You just – his height, his build, the way he moves, um, and you immediately see he's different. Um, and then, of course, you, you saw what he did in high school. So I wouldn't say he's the best player yet. I mean, he just started. But by the middle of the season, could we look out there and say Cam Coleman's the best player on the team? Would that shock me? No, wouldn't shock me.